Over more than three decades, Bangara has become a cultural powerhouse. That's the sixth one. As artistic director, Stephen Page has taken First Nations stories to audiences around the world. Today, he announced he's stepping down from the role at the end of next season. This last two years have been really quite uh, clear to me. It just feels right. Totally unexpected. Since taking the helm in 1991 at the age of 24, Stephen Page led the company to soaring heights with a fusion of contemporary and traditional dance. He put Indigenous culture on the international stage, co-directing parts of the opening and closing ceremonies at the Sydney Olympics. What he's done as an elder in our art form is really opened up the whole country to engaging in Indigenous stories more to understand in the Indigenous culture and our people and our perspectives more. So, so some... We get to reflect where we've come from, what's been the last 32 years, uh, the, the wonderful cultural creative legacy that the company's um, been able to establish. The Page story has featured tragedy too. The loss of Stephen's two brothers, dancer Russell and musical director David. Here at the company's dance studio on Gadigal land, Stephen is putting the final touches on his latest work before handing the reins over to his artistic associate and Bangara dancer, Francis Rings. We need to start taking risks and we need to start reimagining ourselves and uh, I'm really excited to be able to, to take that and to be able to be entrusted to, to lead the company. Passing the message stick to a trusted collaborator for a new age at Bangara. Kirsty Wellauer, ABC News, Sydney.